Hey everyone, this is Art from GoMeasure3D and this is a Geomagic Design X tutorial. Let's take a look at how we can create mesh sketches and extrude to reverse engineer this part I have in front of me. I created this model with the Artec Micro Scanner and as you can see I've already aligned it to my coordinates and used the auto segmentation tool to define regions. Look for those videos in the description below. To create our two-dimensional mesh sketches, we need reference planes to draw from. Once I've defined my planes, I can just right-click on them and enter mesh sketch mode. For this model, let's create reference planes here and here. Go to your home tab and click plane. Since I know that my model is perfectly aligned to the top plane and has an axis running through this cylinder, I want to use the offset method and use this measuring tool to measure the distance between the plane and the surface we'd like to offset to. Click OK to add your plane. Let's do that again for the next feature. Lastly, I'm going to add one more plane right here. Another way to do this is to extract a plane from the auto-generated regions we've created. Just turn them on, go to the plane tool, and use the extract method. Zoom into your region. I'm going to use this plane right here, and add an axis constraint. In this case, I'm going to use the one that runs through this cylinder. Hit OK. And now we're ready to create some sketches and extrude our model. When reverse engineering, we want to think about the order of things. So I think I'll create a cylinder here, another one here, and then cut a notch into this top cylinder. To start a mesh sketch, you can just select a plane, and right click on it, and enter the sketch mode. Next, you can move this section polyline to get the clearest silhouette for your sketching. This looks pretty good. Let's hit OK. Let's hide our mesh and use the sketching tools to create our cylinder. I like to use the auto sketch tool, which automatically selects the right tool for the job. But in this case, using the circle tool will give us more control. Find the center axis, click, and drag it out to the silhouette of our mesh. Click OK. Exit the sketch. And now we can extrude our cylinder. Let's turn on our mesh. And go to the Model tab. Notice the Surface and the Solid tools available. Let's extrude a solid. Since we already have our mesh sketch selected, we just have to define the distance to extrude our cylinder. Here we can take advantage of the regions we've generated. Let's turn them on and use the up to region method. Select the plane and hit OK. Remember that we can always go back and update our extrusion. You can right click on it and change the method. So if we want to snap to our plane instead of our region, to be more precise, we can update that here. Let's change our method to surface. Click on our plane. And hit OK. Now we can finish creating the top cylinder. Let's start another mesh sketch off of this plane. Move our section polyline to get the best silhouette. Hit OK. Turn off our mesh, go to our circle tool, exit our sketch, turn on our mesh and create another extrusion. I'm going to snap to my regions again.
Now our model is starting to look like our scanned object. Let's create this notch here. For that, we're going to sketch another solid and cut into our cylinder. My last reference plane is very small, so to start this sketch, I'm going to go to the Sketch tab, click Mesh Sketch, and select my plane from the tree on the left. Again, let's fit the best fit section polyline. Hit OK. And this is where the Auto Sketch tool may save us some time. Notice how quickly I converted my silhouette into a sketch. From here, you can make a few modifications. I can make this line perpendicular to this one by using the Constraint tool. This time I need to create a solid to cut into my cylinder, so I don't need these lines over here. I'm going to use the Trim tool. To use the Power Trim tool, just click and drag your mouse over the lines you'd like to delete. Hit OK. The Resize tool lets you resize these lines. And I can complete my solid by using the Rectangle tool. Lastly, I'll trim away the bits that I don't need. Let's exit our mesh sketch. And make our final extrusion. Again, let's snap to our regions. Now let's turn off our regions and turn on our solids. Make sure the cut operator is checked and hit OK. From here I can use tools like fillets and chamfers to complete my model. Thanks for watching.